like, do I love it? Do I hate it? And here's how I feel about feedback. Um, as some of you know, I just did an online course. And it was interesting because when you put something out there, whatever it is, it could be a video, or for me it was this course, you're going to get feedback. And it's interesting how our brains perceive feedback. Somebody could be just making a comment. They could be making a positive suggestion. But isn't it interesting how we, most of us, I don't know about you, but I take that and I go to the negative. Like, what do they think? Do they think that about me? Or my brain just takes it to the lowest common denominator rather than looking at it as maybe it could be a positive and it was just a statement. So really, the hardest lesson for me on my online course was how I dealt with the feedback. In the beginning, when we created the course, I had a team of people younger than me who actually took many online courses and their suggestions were new to me. I had never thought of it that way. And it took me time to actually take what they said and process it. And you know what? Most of their suggestions were really good. A few I didn't agree with. And you know what? You don't have to agree with everything. But I want you to look at feedback and I want you to look at when people make a comment about you and I don't want you to go to perceiving it as all negative. There is so much growth that can happen from feedback and comments. It's how we take that information in, how we process that information that either makes it work or we just let go of it and we just say bye bye. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to get a more positive attitude. I want you to begin to listen to some of the feedback, take some in, make a few changes, and I want you to be able to let some go. Because if you can let things go and really think that people are really giving you their positive, positive intent, you're going to be a lot happier. That's my lesson for today. Let go or embrace the feedback, but I want you just to be happier. It's Karen McCullough with another lesson from the road. <music>